Rule the World's a Stage by William Shakespeare. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely plays. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven stages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in his nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail and willing to school. And then the lover, sighing like furnace, with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths, and bearded like the pard, jealous in honour, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation. Even in the cannon's mouth, and then the justice, in fair round belly, with good cap and limb, with eyes severe and beard a formal cut, full of wise sores and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts with the lean and slippered pantaloon, with spectacle on nose and pouch on side, for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice, turning again towards childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all that ends this strange, eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. No teeth, no eyes, no everything. brief candle, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, signifying nothing.